Hello everybody, it is N, and today I'm doing another book review on a fantasy book. This one I've read a little bit ago, uh, I believe I wrote down actually when I read it, which is odd. Uh, again, so I read it in the uh, early March, so not terribly long ago, but it's still been a couple of months since I read it. So my memory's a little bit off on this, but it's Brandon Sanderson's The Warbreaker, and it's, he's, he's, Brandon Sanderson, He's in recently. He's been like the king of uh, fantasy right now. He's been an awesome fantasy teller. Uh, I've only read this one book, but it's awesome. It's a great book. It's such such a great story. Such awesome twists. Very very good writer. I know I know this because I know he's given out writing courses at uh, universities that he puts out online for free, and those are really really awesome. They're very very in depth and they're very good for any writers out there. Uh, and so I, I took a look at those, and I realized he actually knows what he's doing very, very well. So I took a book, and it's great. So this was recommended to me by a friend, and he's recommended that I read all of the books, which are like, there's like 10 books in his entire collection, and I'm not about to do that right now. I got a king lineup up there that I'm working on, so, so calm down a little bit. So, The Warbreaker, or it's just Warbreaker. It's a book about, it's a very hugely fantasy book. It stands in at a solid almost 700 pages, so 650 pages, just about. And it's heavy, heavily plot-oriented. So this is, it's a fantasy book, so it's heavily plot-oriented. There's magic, there's stuff like that. And it's the first real fant hardcore fantasy book. Oh, what is it? It's high, high fantasy book that I've read in a long time. High fantasy is when it's completely unrelated to Earth. Earth does not exist at all in terms of this world. So, yeah. The plot follows two people, or uh, many, many people actually, like two or three people. There's the princess named Ciri, and there's the other princess, the older princess, named Vivenna. And then there's a dude named Vasher, who we have no idea what he's about, but he's just going around killing people and doing something like that. So we don't know what he's about, but he seems pretty cool. We don't know if he's good or evil. We have no clue about that at all. And he, Vasher, he has a magic sword that can talk. And the magic system in this world is breath. So each person is born with a single breath, and that just gives you basic life. And if you take that away, you can give that breath away. You can't give away all your breaths. I mean, you can't give away a portion of your breath. You can give away all your breath or none of it. So if there's two people, one person can give their breath to the other. Now they have zero breath. They're not going to die, but they're just not going to live, tru truly live ever again. It's like, it's, it's a shell of what you used to be. Now this person has two breaths. This person can't give one breath back to them. They have to give all of them. So that's the magic system, very basically. And if you have more than two, there's different tiers. Like one is uh, two breaths, one is five, one is ten. It goes all the way up to like 10,000 and it's insane like that. And uh, it's very important because it's it's not used as a currency, but it's used as a, ma a very powerful currency. There's also gods that come, that have died doing something heroic and they've come back reborn as a god. So a giant person, a giant person and to stay alive, they need to feed on one or two breaths a week. And in return, they give their family lots of money. Because these gods, they're rich. They, they've made a lot of money somehow. I don't know why. But they, they get an offering of one or two breaths a week or a day or something like that. And every time they give the money to the family to uh, recom recompense, I think, them for the breath. Which, is, which you can't get back. You can't get back a breath. So in return for doing all this, what... The, the gods, what they do is that they just talk to every single person that comes their way and, in, and uh, considers their problems. So people come to them with their problems. Like, oh, I'm sick. Oh, everybody in my family is dead and I'm, I don't have any food. Stuff like that. They just keep coming and there's like hundreds of thousands of so many people that always come to them. And so they need to, they, they need to pick one person to give all of their breath to. And when they give all their breath, they die because they can't live without any uh, breath. So they give them all and they solve all their problems. Uh, it's taking a long time to explain, but that's the gist of it. Also, there's one god king who we don't know anything about, and he's got like a billion jillion breaths. Not really. He's got like a couple, a couple thousand, like 10,000 or something like that. And he's the god king. He controls everything. And uh, Vivenna, the first uh, older princess, she's supposed to marry him, but then the, the father, the king, doesn't want Vivenna, Vivenna to marry him because she, he actually likes Vivenna. So he's going to kick Ciri out to marry him. Because the, the promise was that they would get a princess, not the eldest princess. 
and because they now they can't wage war because they're scared of war and all that kind of stuff blah 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 basically the god uh, the important part that you need to remember is that the god has one chance to give all of his life for somebody else's problems and solve everything and he only has one chance but all these gods are also stuck up they don't want it they're, they're like they're like teenagers basically oh i don't want to do that oh uh, no stuff like that okay um uh, plot wise i've told you basically what the plot is siri goes out to marry that person instead of vivena and now vivena actually wants to come over and save 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 uh, her sister because she's been planning her whole, her whole life around this and now Siri just gets stuck in there so she's kind of mad about that. Siri doesn't want to be there and the Vasher, he's going around doing something. We don't know what he's doing. And so they're just doing that, trying to save him from the God King. That's, that's the plot and it goes through and it's such good plot twists going through. The story's so well told, it's so well rounded, all the themes make sense. Uh, it's it stands in at 600 pages. Sorry, I forgot to mention that before. 600 pages, uh, which I read in four days, which is super duper fast for me because it was awesome. It was so gripping. It had so many plot twists from the beginning. Plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. And it continuously did so much throughout the book that it, it kept me the entire time. The ending is so unexpected and so different to what... It's, it's very brand new. Like all the other books, you can somewhat a little bit predict the ending to a certain extent. In this one, you can't. It's nothing is what you think it is. And it's awesome because of that. The storyteller is awesome. This is the one of the few standalone novels that he actually put up, put out in terms of fantasy. And I think it's awesome. It's a great, great novel. Uh, if you look on the title cover there, this is, I believe that's Siri. That's either Siri or Vivenna. I believe that's Siri. And this is the breath. So, stuff like that happens. And the characters, they're very, very well fleshed out. Vasher, we don't know what he's about, but we do learn about what he's, somewhat what he's about during his journey that we kind of, we don't know anything about the journey, but he goes on a journey going and doing some stuff. Vivena, we know what her ideals are because she was meant to be the bride of the God King, but then she wasn't, and so everything was torn away from her. Plot, the, the characters change very, very well. Siri, She's she's the rebellious one that doesn't want to do anything, obviously, and we, we learn about all of these things, and it makes for a really believable, really rich and deep story that I loved, I absolutely loved. This I'm not going to read this one again, it's 600 pages, but because I got so many other books to get to, to from him. I believe I have one down here that I just found at a, a secondhand bookstore, The Hero of Ages. And I, I don't know where that stands in the Mistborn trilogy or something like that, but uh, I'm gonna get to it eventually because it's it's really good story and uh, it's it's a lot of books that he's working with. So that's awesome and I loved it so much. It's such a great story. The, the breath sy magic system, it's very interesting and makes sense. It's not too much because I know a lot of magic systems like Harry Potter. One of the reasons I don't like Harry Potter, the magic is literally do whatever you want with the magic. Good luck. And and so I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter. It's too simple. It's too much of a good luck. You can do anything with magic. Now you don't need to do. You don't need to really rely on anything else other than magic. So I, I'm not the biggest fan of Harry Potter. But this one, you really need to rely on things because breath can only be used to a certain extent. Lots of the people with a lot of breath, they can hear more. They can see more. They can aim better. But they can also give a little bit of their breath to inanimate objects to make them do their will. So I could poof to my phone right there that's recording and it would do something for me that's that's kind of how breath works and it doesn't do too much more than that it 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 does a little bit and i really like that because now it's not really focusing on the magic which does exist and it's very interestingly used it's focused on the actual characters and how they progress and it's awesome did i say that ever it's awesome it's a great fantasy novel one of the best i've read since it's probably the best one I've read since Lord of the Rings. It's it's great. It's awesome. It's it's such a perfect plot. Uh, it's just perfect plot structure. Perfect mysteries involved. Perfect plot twist. Awesome character. So everything is great about this book. An easy, an easy five out of five. It's it's a great book for its, its genre. And I, he's not as much as Brandon Sanderson's The King kind of a fantasy right now. I, I, I don't think he's very commonly recognized for this. So, if you don't know about Brandon Sanderson, take a read through of Warbreaker. It's one of his smallest, it's his only standalone novel, and one of his smallest books. You'll be surprised, because it's awesome. So, 5 out of 5, 
would recommend. If you like this book, leave a like down below. And if you want to let me know how you like the book, and if you want to know anything else about me liking the book, let me know in the comments down below. Because, again, because I want to answer your questions and I answer every single comment that arrives. So, if you want to see any new reviews, uh, subscribe down below. And if you want to see any different books being reviewed, comment down below. Just comment, doesn't matter. Just comment, it's okay. So, thank you guys for watching, and I, I hope I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.